In EAFC, there are some ludicrous players who think they can build the most crazy team in just one day of Ultimate Team. I am one of those people. What team can I make in just 24 hours of playing FC24? Going from a team like this to a team like this. Can I pack an icon in this time frame? Can I complete foot champs as well? It's time to start the 24 hour Centurions Road to glory. For cheap and fast, reliable FC24 coins, check out MMOEXP, the link is down below, and use the code MATHD to get 5% off all of your orders. 24 hours begins now, man. What team can I build? Let's get it. Okay, I've downloaded the squad. Let's get into the actual RTG. So I've gone with Brazil, always my best choice. Have I just packed an icon the first pack? That seems like a crazy flair. <laughs> Center back, go on. Who have I just got, man? Benfica, it's Murato, okay. And there is my starting 11 for my one day RTG, man. Now I'm gonna replace the striker here, guys, as I need someone to score me loads of goals at the beginning of this new account. And I'm gonna go with Martinez. I like him a lot at the start of FC24. He should be great. Now I'm gonna go for the highest quick sell value kits here. Argentina is surely the one choice I gotta go with there. That is a very cool kit there from, uh, is that Lesse there from Serie A? That's my surprise you, but I think Spurs might be the most valuable choice from this choice. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can actually quick sell these items here. England is definitely gonna be the most quick sell value level of coins and there you go my team is ready already let's go man kicking things off what have i got to start my ultimate team remember i'm starting here with absolutely nothing on the account so i'm making it incredibly difficult to do anything so zero coins on the account ea play pro does give you the fifa points guys but obviously i won't be spending them i never have never will that's not fun for me so straight away we do have a fc mobile home kit so that can get applied straight away guys i should get an objective done for that now this is where things get interesting guys i've got a nike tradable kit i think so i'll see what we get here i have no idea what this even is it might be a badge as well there it is not even a walkout obviously we do get a great kit there reminds me of the nigeria world cup kit from years ago now i do get alexi putelas there and not only that i've got gurasai there from the bundesliga i like him a lot for my team don't know what's going on with this dynamic picture saying that however it's a cool card now it did say tradable but none of these are tradable FIFA myth. Okay, let's store them in the club and they're good to go, man. Okay, lone player pack pre-order and it is Erling Haaland. So straight into my starting 11, here he goes. And then we get lone players again. Let's not forget though, man, in the early stages of a new ultimate team, you desperately do need these kind of cards that are on loan to help you out. Now, what do we get here? We do get Marta, Pop, and Sam Kerr. I'm going to go for Van Dyke and Sam Kerr. That should be a great way to start my ultimate team. How long left have I got? 23 hours, man. Now, we'll kick things off here, man, with a preview pack because you never know. We might go and get someone nice. Striker, Austria. Wait, is that... Is Arnautovic back at Inter Milan? He is. Completely forget he's still even playing football. We get Arnautovic. Will he be worth more than 7.5 thousand coins? No. No, he won't. Straight away, guys, we got to go and add those new players to my starting 11. Okay, so Virgil van Dijk straight away goes into the team. That obviously needs to happen. We need a good center back there. I'll take out Vinicius and then apply the new striker, which is obviously going to be Haaland there. He's got to go in this team. Okay, so my three best players are actually on the bench. Well, some of my best players there. Gurassi can stay on the bench as I've already got Haaland. Sam Kerr might not get in the starting 11. I mean, maybe she does actually over Martinez. Plus two, why not? And then Alexi Putelas can go in center mid. So that is my official starting 11. However, we need to now go straight into SBCs. This is how you got to start an Ultimate Team account. And with 23 hours and 53 minutes left, we'd need something good here, man. So everything's locked. So obviously, guys, I've got to go and complete all of these. It shouldn't be that difficult to do. And there you go. Low to high. Always advise doing that. Squad builder done. We are literally completed with the SBC foundation. This means that I can do any SBC in the entirety of Ultimate Team. If I was EA, though, I would love it if they made these starter packs tradable. Just to give us a few more thousand coins. It'd be nice. Anyway, they're all untradable. Premium bronze pack. Czech Republic. What have I just got there? Go on. Okay. 
Next premium bronze pack is a Scottish legend by the name of Patterson. He can go into my club, man. Jumbo bronze pack for the first time in this game, and it is... Kim In Sung, he looks kind of cracked. I won't lie, guys. He actually looks pretty good. 83 agility. However, I've never seen an angrier manager than this guy. Like, what is his problem? Okay, silver pack. This could be good for my starting 11, especially in Division 10. I actually do need some players here for my new team. So let's see what we get, man. We do get a few players who could potentially work. Oh, 500 coins. Yes, please, EA. And then fifth pack, and we need to get our first coins. Come on, be a board. Brazilian. Right back, who is this, man? Um, I think it's a common card. No, it's not. Okay, it's actually a nice card. So, Letitia Santos can go on my team. This guy might go on the team. And already, I'm getting some decent pack look here, man. Okay, let's straight away improve the squad. Let's add Letitia, the Brazilian right back to the team. She goes there. The right mid we just packed. I'm hoping we've got right mid here, actually. We have. Ring is going to be our guy. He can go on the team. All of these concepts can go... I'm going to play Garassi left mid. That way, the team is looking a lot better just by adding his inform to the squad. Look at that, guys. It's already a nice, uh, nice starter team. It's okay. So now it's time to start grinding all of these new objectives, guys. And don't forget, there are so many cards I can earn in this time frame today. 3,000 XP gets me to 81 plus attacker pack. Now, this is always a fun one. I say fun. I mean, you can call it fun if you want to. Assist Mastery with 300 assists gets us a rare mega pack. 400 assists gets me a jumbo rare pack. So squad battles, I can get that. Remember, I want to try and pack three or four Centurions in this video today. That'd be incredible. They can be an icon. They can be a promo player. I want to get four. Don't forget, though, about finishing Mastery, man. Rare mega pack there for 75 finesse shots. 100 goals, same pack. And then also 250 goals, which isn't that long to get that, is another 100k pack. So big packs here all around. And not only that, there are so many cards now from these leagues that are just 83 rating and so easy to get. It is astonishing. We can get some nice cards here, definitely. There are some decent cards here, guys. They really, really are. Also, I want to try and get as many XP as possible as well. Maybe I can lock Jared Bowen in this time frame with that card. I mean, that is a really, really good card. Four star, three star. He can hopefully be in the final team at the end of the video. However, right now, I need to seriously get grinding because if I want to get to foot champs on this video, guys, I need 1,250 points. Then I've got to qualify. Then I've got to play foot champs. However, there's only one way to do that, and that is by starting to vision rivals here we go this is what it's all about guys i'll get loads of milestones and objectives done through playing rivals in this new account hopefully get some promotions here and obviously the big one is to qualify the foot champs and build the craziest team that we can in 24 hours however let's right now get into division rivals and the grind can commence well three and a half hours later there is a ton of updates to show you guys don't forget i've still got a lot for champs to get into so much to grind here it is outrageous now 44 objectives i've completed up to this point I've got quite a few things to claim here. Weirdly though, season progress in terms of XP has not been my priority and that's for good reason. So I've already started the grind here for Jared Bowen. He has got a Centurions card here and I'm able to get a few more TFOs unlocked there, which, you know, I'm probably not really going to use, but they'll be good for the, um, the end game. 81 plus two pack there to claim from grinding this new objective on the 24 hour account. New XP to be added to the account as well. Now, as you can imagine, this is where things get a bit crazy. Am I going to leave all of these packs? Yes, because there's nothing good in these at all, guys. Just avoid stadium mastery. However, 82 plus red gold player pack, which is great for this account. And this is where things are getting a bit mad. I told you guys I'm going to grind to get all of these assists done. And that is exactly what I've been able to do here. So a load of packs there. Jumbo rare player pack, rare mega pack, a few goal packs along the way. And it should hopefully be worth it. But not only that, by doing the assists, I've also got first owner and finishing mastery done in a good way. So I do get more done there as well. First owned, I actually get a few more packs. So hopefully this will pay off. Like this is a lot of packs early on, which adds to my team in a huge way. Now, not only that, guys, I decided to go and do the 100 goals. That gives us a ton of packs to get unlocked there. And it does show if you were starting out your ultimate team right now, I'm showing you by just grinding the game, not even aiming for XP, you can get so many packs. It's crazy. Right, I've got squad maintenance there. We do get a catalyst chem style, which should be decent in the long run. Team warm up, I get three common goal pack. Nothing really exciting there. And that is everything there from objectives. It does say 44 still. Obviously, it's a glitch. 
Anyway, I'm at 7.8k on this account. That is the current team I have been using. However, now it's time to majorly improve this squad. And I think it's hopefully going to be a bunch of good players here. We get the first pack open. It's Hungarian. Oh, B85. Oh, okay. That is actually a very, very good goal pack. He can go straight into the starting 11. 84 from a goal pack is nice. Boards again. What have I just got? Oh, go on. Striker, Italian. Um, Is that? Wait, who is this? Oh, common. Okay. Moise Keen. Didn't he play for Everton back in the day? Anyway, another decent goal pack. I'll take that fodder. Remember, there are some decent icons in SBC, so maybe I could complete an icon on this account today. French, right wing back. It's going to be Klaus, who I think is 81. Yeah, 81 rated. Untradeable, this one, by the way. Now, not only that, though, guys, I cannot forget about a new account. This is a really, really important part of it, and it's all to do with these right here foundation pack so you know what i'm talking about hybrid leagues hybrid nations league and nation hybrid there are like 15 packs there i believe to get all of which are good so that is another massive part of this to get all of this fodder add them to those upgrades so let's get into these other ones right now let's go three common goal player pack you can get informs from these if you didn't know so any informs there i doubt it two player pack okay well you never know you really never know be Neymar or Casemiro. Go on. No, but it's a rare. Let's go and do the two rare goal pack. Then every pack after this one should be a banger. Right. Centre mid. That might be... Is it Serie A? Yeah. Our best player so far has been Gulaxi. Time to change that. Look at all these packs though, man. Some really cool ones here. This is going to be bronze beast most likely USA. And it is... Who is that? Bush. Okay, we got Bush. Now then it's time to open the good ones. 15,000 coin pack here. Remember, Centurions are in packs. Icons are in packs. There is a lot going on this week in Ultimate Team. So we really, really want to push for those good pack pulls. That is a big improvement though to my general starting 11. I can have wan right back. Bailey can go into the team. Remember though, guys, it's still really early on on this like RTG today. So I haven't even started Rivals properly yet. So there's so much to get into. So go on. Um, I think that's Kapue. No. What's his name? Former Arsenal player. That's going to really drive me nuts. Coquelin? Yes, Coquelin. Oh, go on. Udogi can also go into the starting 11. You might be seeing a bit of a theme here. We're kind of heading for like a Premier League based team. Anyway, we've got all of these packs, man. 82 plus player. We're still yet to get a big walkout yet. Can we change that right now? That might go and do it. No. If only it was Casemiro, could have got into a big SPC. 84s, though, I will take. I mean, we'll always go with that. Let's see what we get from these, though. We've got an 81 plus 2. Are we going to get our first icon of the day? Be Luka Modric. No, it's going to be Brozovic. I've got Modric a lot this ultimate team, so wouldn't be surprised if I pack him today. However, more packs to earn right now. Let's get into the rare mega pack. Come on, EA. From grinding assists, what do you give me? Centre-back, oh no. German centre-back is not what you want. It just isn't. One duplicate, always switch, guys, in case. Nope, nothing great there. Okay, he wasn't tradable. Now, we have more to get into. Mega pack, 18 rares from this. On a new account, oh, it will be Barcelona. No, but it will be, I think, Thiago. Centre-mid, Spanish, yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? 84, okay, you know what? Either way, I'm getting a lot of players here who are really going to severely improve this squad by the end of this video today. By the way, if you're enjoying this and you want to see more of this, do smash the like button, guys. Helps me out a lot. And uh, let us know you want to see more of these kind of videos. Right, Spanish again. Don't be Liverpool again, please. No, please. What have I just got? No, well, he's a walkout. Okay, it's a good pack pull. You probably know who I wanted there, though. Alexi Putelas is so rare in this game. I really wanted to get it then. They are some nice pack pulls, though. And we get a player pack. Are any of these tradable? Please? No. Man, it's so hard to get coins, isn't it? Like, the only way you're getting them right now is just by literally playing the game. However, this is tradable. So anyone who sells in this pack is great. That won't be that valuable. Uh, how much does it go for? 700 coins. I might as well keep these cards for now in case of hybrid nations, right? We might actually need them. So let's get into these ones. Rare mega pack again. Maybe, just maybe, another walkout. French, be striker. Centre back, be... Uh, oh, that's a walkout, isn't it? I think... 
No, it's not. I thought it would have been. There's a Reynard. Unbok there, 83. Although I think Reynard might have an inform. Right, Nacho Fernandez. Um, Fred is untradeable again. Seven years ago or six years ago in Ultimate Team, I bet we never thought there'd be this many untradeable packs. Every single one of these is untradeable. Even Hybrid Nations, when you do that, guys, is going to be untradeable. So it's, it's oh, man, time's different now. That could be... Is he a walkout this FIFA? Or is 85? Come on, Chesney, don't be 85. 86 walkouts. So two walkouts now, guys. We're getting somewhere, man. We also get Mateo there. Remember, I do need a great foot champs team here. We really, really do. So anyone nice here would be lovely. Oh, what have I just got there? Hold on. Oh my God, what have I got? Goalkeeper. Is that an inform or centurion? Inform. And it's going to be Bauman, 83 inform. So he can be used in SBC. Chesney's going to get ahead of him, though, in the uh, starting 11. Two German players there in one pack as well. Right. Annoyingly, though, that that was an 83 pack, so I kind of need someone better. However, what have I just got in this one? 84 plus B striker. It is. Oh, my days. Oh, my. Oh, I'm not getting excited. Um, right. <laughs> we got excited for good reason. Kolo Muani, to be fair, is probably going to start in my, well... Foot Champs RTG squad here, guys, today on the 24-hour account. I think he has to. So, 200Ks left, 83 plus 3. I really want to walk out from this French CDM. It is... I have no idea who this is. Is it a walkout? Um, Henry is actually not a walkout. So, give me Marcus Rash with the same pack. Yeah, go on. No, we get Gavi and then uh, Magnin there. Okay, two more packs at this stage guys with how long left here we've got 20 hours and 12 minutes to go on the clock 200ks though so you never know with these packs man german it's a tony cruz right can you please be double walkout i love a double walkout here it's not a double walkout right 86th cruz there guys i'm not expecting much now on the rest of this pack i'll be real um ford i mean the good thing is we're getting a lot of good players here to improve the squad and very very quickly annoyingly though again just nothing is tradable this ultimate team is it mad right here we go then come on ea surprise us with someone unreal brazilian cdm oh no fabinho 84 not a good 100k pack there guys it really isn't still though the motivation is very strong to get this team to an incredible standard sane is going to be good for the team um to be fair, we're getting a lot of like decent pack balls here, man. So this is um this is going well. So with that being said, we can obviously now make some major improvements to this squad. I mean, we really, really can. Literally, the entire team can now be just removed at this point and go into the club and quite literally, guys, improve the entire squad in about 10 seconds. I mean, this won't even take too long. Okay, right now, that is the current squad. Huge jump in rating there as well, which is great. I've still got Van Dijk on loan. Haaland on loan still there as well. And there is the new bench. So already, 85 rating there is such a good improvement. And to be fair, I've actually got some decent cards here to use. Sterling, a strike is nice. I like in there. The defense needs improving, but you know what? For right now, it's a solid team to take into Division 10 rivals. It really, really is. So you join me here, guys, eight hours in and nine minutes specifically. It has been a crazy grind, this. And to make you aware, I'm at 21 point five k right now got a few more items here to claim which does by the way include some new packs so we always love to see that a 381 plus attacker pack might come in clutch now i have managed to complete the themed team pursuit there which is a really good one to do also jared bowen i've completed now he goes into my team straight away cool card he's got guys he goes into my starting 11 for the 24 hour account now, under Milestones, I have also completed a Squad Battles Mastery Pack there. That will give me a two rare gold pack, which hopefully will be lovely. First owned, another two rare gold pack there, which could be cool. Now, this is a big one. I've managed to complete League Mastery as well. Play 10 games in any game mode there with all these different leagues. That one took quite a bit of time there. And as you can see, Jumbo Rare Pack. 
and six gold packs. Now there's even more I've done here in this eight hour time frame. It's been a really long day today doing this, man. Now I've managed to complete as well these new, like I guess, edited VC objective cards. So they can potentially go into starting 11. Three more cards now to add to the team. This end game team is going to be unbelievable. Honestly, it's going to even be even better than the 12 hour one we did. I know it's double the time, but even if this is 12 hours, I think I could do even better in that same time frame. Now, I also got this one done, guys, which is going to be kooky there. We've also got um, Sheehan and then a few more nice packs there. So, so many cool items here to add to the team. We get Kaiser as well. Okay, also, I've got this objective done, which is there for Hertig, Vicky Lasada, and Carter. So, again, that eight-hour time slot from the last, well, from the beginning, this is showing you how much you can get done in one day. It is actually incredible. Not only that, guys, but we have got some lovely packs here for the Centurions and matches. I've already got 40 games done in this time frame. The grind has been insane. Squad battles, obviously, is a lot shorter, so that's why I'm getting so much done here. It really is just insane. Can't forget the 80 plus 5 pack there, guys, from that as well. Where is the other objective? There you go. There it is. So Centurions, well, since Century of Wins there, I've got two more packs to claim as well. And then finally, as I coupled a lot of objectives together, I get even more packs and rewards there. So some really good objective cards. This endgame team is going to be nuts. I'm really vibing with this account here today, guys. And I get some more coins for the account. However, I've still not done the advanced SBCs and only eight hours in, guys. I've now got 46 packs. 46 packs, man. Oh my god. Okay, I'll get rid of the bronze pack there as, you know, it's not going to be anyone, you know, truly iconic. I'll get rid of these silver packs and gold packs and then hopefully we're going to get up to a point here where the club is going to be absolutely stacked. Okay, a bunch of gold packs here. Not really expecting much, but you never know. We might have just got Valverde and I don't even know it. No, we don't. Okay, we really haven't got Valverde. The cool thing is after I've got all of these packs opened, the improvement to the squad is going to be astronomical. It really, really, really is. Gold pack. Give us a huge, like, icon? No. Okay, we get an anchor style, though, which is nice for the um, for the player. Okay, let's keep on going, man. 40 packs to go. This is one of the craziest grinds I've done on one of these RTGs, man. Let me tell you that. Right, gold pack again. Nothing special from that one. 37 packs to go. I'll probably skip these smaller packs and save the big ones for the latter part of this part of the video as we really need to get some good looking. Let's skip this fast, though. The quicker we open these packs, the more time I've got to build an even more insane squad. Right, premium gold pack. Give us something. You never know. We've got a few walkouts out of these this week, so we'll see what we do. It's so hard to get coins on this game right now. Like, I will say that. It really, really is. In terms of in-game on the AFC, there are hardly any tradable packs. And it really is hitting me now on this brand new account that, although I played a ton of, like, well, Ultimate Team today, 22k from playing this many games isn't that unreal. That is... Oh, is that Libertadores? Oh, why? It's always Libertadores. When is it ever not Libertadores? That is the big question. Right, premium gold pack, bro. Come on. Argentina. What have I just got there? Okay, Martinez isn't bad for like an SBC. Let's not forget, there should be some good content within this time frame with SBCs. So we could use 84s in the long run. 84 again, Alex Ramiro. That is not bad. Right, gold player pack. I'll skip. I don't really expect much in this one. Remember, guys, I am playing on PC here. So maybe the pack look can be better. Maybe it can't be. We'll find out now. There are so many good packs here, though. Right, small gold player pack. We're getting now to the bigger packs. That is USA, B Striker, and Alex Morgan. Oh, 85 is fantastic. He will not sell because he's untradeable. And EA hate giving away all of these, um, you know, tradable items is FIFA. Okay, German, B Tony Cruz. Go on, surprise me. That is not bad, though. Right, I'm going to go for it, guys. I've just seen 100K. Why not send it? Please, EA, give us an icon. Come on, French. CDM. It is a walkout, so we might get a double here. I'm going to skip for time reasons. We don't, but that is nice. And Golo Kante can go in to maybe the starting 11. But with all those objectives that I've unlocked, I doubt he'll actually get in the team. Anyway, two rare gold player pack. Give us a walkout, EA. Come on, please. For this 24-hour account, we get Jonathan Vieira. And then I think, was that um, Argentina? Was that a Vieira? Right, 381 plus pack. You never know, man. Oh, I love a walkout here. Come on. 
Left wing, who's this? Oh no, that that might be 81 all over. No, we get Timo Werner, Gonsalves. What has this pack look been? 25 packs though still to go. Spanish, right mid. By the way, all of these packs is unreal in terms of like a free account. I am showing you guys, you do not need to buy FC points by doing this like the same method I'm doing here. You can just grind the game for free. Don't buy any points, man. And you can, uh, yeah, get a team, hopefully, like this by the end of the video. And I say like this, I mean a monster team. It, I'm hoping we're going to build a ridiculously outstanding squad here. Asensio 83, right. We need some better pack look now. We haven't actually got a walkout other than Kante. So we need something to happen here. French? No, that was nowhere near a walkout. My God. Right, loads of good packs here, though. So I'm hoping one of these packs will have a walkout in Elise. Argentina... Center back. Is that Otamendi? Of course it is. It is always Otamendi, bro. 20 packs to go. I think this might be an 80 plus 5. Argentina again. Is that uh, Martinez, though? No, it's actually Romero. Okay, that was a 78 plus 2. Now I'm nervous for these. Still 19 packs to go, though. 80 plus 5. Come on, be Kimmich. Yes! Right, we do get a walkout. Brilliant news there for the account. And I'm hoping... We might get someone else. Can we get like Marcus Rashford here? We don't at all. Still, good walkout for an SBC. Maybe we can get the hero pack completed or an icon pack. Still, oh, that's a special card. That is a special, Ger wait, not German, Belgian center back. What have I just got there, guys? Centurion, go on. We get our first Centurion who's actually got a nice card for a ball now there from Belgium. I'll take it, guys. We also get an inform in the same pack. That is amazing. So first Centurion on the Centurion 24-hour account here today. That is actually brilliant. Right, 82 plus 2. Oh, come on. Be back-to-back -back, uh, decent cards here, guys. Centre-back, it's going to be Chris Hummels, isn't it? It is always this guy. There's never a day when I don't pack him, honestly. So next pack, though, 82 plus 2. So many big packs are still to get, though. French, centre-back. Um, Beacon Pembe. No. Okay, that was actually a bad one. Well, we've got lucky with the Centurion, but honestly, I feel like we're at a level now where I need to start seeing some insane luck. Um, that is actually not bad. 85s, I'll always take. Okay, Hummels again. <laughs> How many times, man? How many times? Again, give us Chris Hummels. I dare you, EA. Portuguese. CDM. I have no idea who that is. Ah, it's not great. 84s. Our luck hasn't been great on this account here, you know. I will be honest, it hasn't been great. Right, all of those packs have been opened. Annoyingly, I thought I had loads more. So now I need to go and improve the squad, grind some more of the game. And don't forget, guys, I haven't even started Rivals, haven't got any qualification points yet. It's going to be fascinating to see how many wins I can get and if I can get into foot champs in that time frame. I mean, it's going to be interesting. So this was the squad the last time you saw the main team. However, obviously now, guys, it has got a lot of improvements to the squad. Jared Bowen can go there. Uh, can take on the bench. All these objective cards straight into the team. Morris there as well. There are a load of cards here, man, I've unlocked today. Um, yep, yep, perfect. Bro, there are so many good cards here. This is amazing. I love all these objective cards, guys. Um, Centurion in the team there as well. I'll add to listen. That, that's cool, man. Look at all these cards. And there is actually more if we really want to go that route. So we can go with a few more objective cards here. This is insane. This really is crazy. And then I can replace Kimmich there with Bowen. Man, this is looking cool, guys, isn't it? Do any of you guys forget the 4-3-2-1 is now three, like, center forwards? I always forget that. Anyway, Jared Bowen's in the squad. The team's looking nice. Look at all these objective cards. This could be amazing, man. So now we find ourselves in the final part of today's video, guys. And let me tell you, this has been a super fun grind. I know it's a lot. There's been so many games played. So many new objective cards I've unlocked in the last few hours, by the way. And it's been incredible. So if you didn't know, we just got pundit picks from EA. But I don't really know if that's going to be worth doing on this account. I doubt, you know... Anthony Gordon's going to improve my endgame team, so we might be best to avoid a card like that. However, I've just locked a level 5 pack there in XP. XP has been the one thing that got away from me here, being honest, but really there isn't too much in terms of craziness that I could have really unlocked. There's a few okay packs, but there's nothing like an 85 plus 10. 
It's not like we're in August again, guys. Let's let's not forget that. And we've just sold some more cards here on the market, as you can see there. Always worth listing these to get as many coins as you possibly can on an RTG. And here we are, though. Let's get straight into it. 82 plus 2 gold pack. Can I please get an icon here? Brazilian. Centre mid, I think, yeah, Newcastle, probably Bruno Gumarais. I think it will be. It is 84 rated. We'll probably go into an SBC, so that actually might work well. And a cheeky 82 Baltimore, why not? Now, I've actually got my next preview pack to open. And again, always open these because you never know if you're going to get someone amazing. It's always worth a shot. Argentina striker, is that Lazio? Who have I just got there? Castellanos. Okay. Nothing amazing there, but again, it was worth it. Another tip, by the way, when you do these preview packs, I just nearly did this myself. Always check if there's a Shadow Chem style, they are selling for 5,000 coins, a Hunter Chem style at the bottom. If you get a Chem style like that, then they can add up to a lot of coins. If you also get a few non-rares there, or even a gold rare player, and add that total up, you probably get above 7.5k, which would be worth it. So, you know, could be a few thousand coins profit. And another tip is to check how much the managers in these packs are selling for. Some managers, guys, are 5,000 coins. They actually are. Go and check, man. They really are. This guy, for example, is maybe 700 coins there, being Belgian, not a bad card there just always check you know compare prices of managers players chem styles even celebrations you never know you could be sitting on a lot of coins and a gold mine anyway with it being the end of the video here half an hour left have i got any pack sbcs that i could do oh oh i could road to the knockout upgrade i haven't done this yet 84 right gold team of the week let's go and get one i will use grassy there he can go Remember, we just went and got Bruno Gumarai, so he'll probably be a good player to add to his team. Skriniar can go there, Brozovic, Chris Hummel, Scott uh, Gumarai, that like I said before. I might need maybe 185, but that should be very doable. I'll use Trend there, guys, try and get some more rating, and then that should be enough. I'm hoping that is enough. Please be enough. It is perfect. Let's go. 84 plus road to the knockout, and again... I haven't done this yet. I was out last night at Anfield, so I haven't been able to do this at this time. Let's see if this is going to be worth it on this new RTG. I'm hoping it's good. And I think there might be another SBC they release, which I need to check. So this might work. I'm just saying, this might work in our favour. Argentina, left back. Um, Is that Acuna? I think it is. 88 rated. Hold on a second. That might be amazing because we all know Sevilla every single year win the Europa League or the UEFA Cup or something in Europe. They are unbelievable. So that actually might be really good. He is 100,000 coins. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So I've just got myself a 100k player in one day of Ultimate Team, man. With half an hour left, we've just got a lovely, lovely pack pull. Now, is there another SBC I could do here? Because I swear they released, they did as well. 85 plus rare gold upgrade pack. I mean, it's 83 rating. I doubt I should... Uh, do I do two of these? It's only 83. These 83s, I'm not going to use, am I? I've got better players than this. So we can probably make do with potentially two. And again... These players, guys, could all add towards the end game team, so it probably will be worthwhile doing. And there you go, 85 plus rare gold player pack unlocked here. I think we can do two of these. We actually can, so I'm hoping that this is going to be amazing. Like, seriously, please be insane. I did not realize I had this many 83s just chilling out in the club. Right, Kamavinga can go there, Hatch can go, Wilson can go, and that might be... I might need one more rating, actually. I think I probably will. Yeah, we do. I'll get like an 83 or 84 here who works. Okay, that actually might work well. Go on. Nope, still need one more. 84 will be fine. Who I won't use. Galaxy won't be in the team. He can go. Perfect. So two 85 plus pack, guys. Two in a row to do. Let's see if this is worthwhile. Remember, we might get Mbappe from this or we might get Parejo. There is that big of a difference here between these. Let's see if these are worthwhile, man. Go on. For the content, please be walk out Swedish. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. What is it with the pack look at the end of these short road to glories? They are honestly stacked. Great pack pull. The annoying thing is, I have no idea if I can use Rolfo and also Acuna in the final endgame team. 
So that might be tricky. However, she's 20k and honestly, really good card in this game, guys. Look at those stats. Really well rounded. She'll need like an anchor style, but she fits right into my... She might need an anchor chem style, but she fits right into my team. Next one, though, for a Centurion. Oh, who's this? Brazilian goalkeeper. Okay, Edison 88 rated. Now my best goalkeeper on this account. A really good pack look here towards the end of this squad uh, video today. Let's have a look. So Edison is like 40k. 30k, actually a bit cheaper. He works though. He really does, man. Don't you dare tell me there are more SPCs like this that I can do because that, that man has worked so well. I was going to attempt to complete Barella Centurions. However, I just think he's too expensive. 87, 86, 84, 83. That's a lot of coin to spend. Even someone like Foyth, 85 rating is way too high. That should be 83. For player species, it's looking a bit brutal, man. I'll be honest. Ollie Watkins could work, but how... 84 and 85, again, it's kind of pricey. I'll have a look, though. There might be someone here who's worthwhile. Sky Sports Pundit Pick. I mean, it just screams of advertisement there from EA and Sky Sports. It really does. They slap the Sky Sports logo on that logo from EA, and they just put it in FIFA. I, I, you got to love it. you got to respect it. Don't think. It's, I mean, yeah. It's another new card. I kind of wish they made it player picks. That would make more sense for marketing reasons, EA. I'm literally doing their job here for them, guys, on this video today. Why not make this a player pick when it's called the pundit pick? Have the same player, but in different positions, right wing and left wing. I mean, why not? But 83 and 84, I just, yeah, doesn't look great. He's okay, but nothing really special. Okay, we'll have a look at the player SBCs. There are quite a lot out right now. Even Aspas could be, oh, it's just three squads. Man, the content team needs to get better with um, SBC requirements. Some of these are way too expensive. Okay, guys, I've decided to, you know what, use some of these objective cards I won't use in the final team. And even players like All Black, I won't be using. So 17 minutes on the clock here, and we're getting some nice SPCs completed. And the player they're going to do is actually Ollie Watkins. Now, this is a tradable pack. Could do with some fodder here for the final panel on Ollie Watkins SPC. That is, I think, an 84 so that will work well 85 that's even better man that's really lucky there she'll sell for like maybe a thousand coins but either way that is a good pack right there to get i needed it 84 rating now english player in this as well this should be very very doable okay i've got to save coins um but i like this card i can't bring myself to get rid of this card guys right i'm gonna have to spend some coins here guys i don't want to do it but we literally have to so gold team of the week lozano i believe is the cheapest in form who's 84 rated on the entire game even on pc and he's actually a bit cheaper than i thought not bad Nineteen thousand coins for him he will work well okay now i just need a bit more rating then we've got this one done and there you go guys i've got a very good spc completed there he goes straight into my final team i believe as well and we get a bit of a bonus pack so it gets us more coins Ollie Watkins in this time frame has been added to my account now. 87 shot, 91 pace. I think this is a very, very good addition to the final squad. Now, this does mean, though, by the way, we can now start building the end game team. So this is the best team that, in my opinion, you can build. And I've shown you can build in 24 hours of playing FC24. So let's see how good he can be. In the final squad, there he is, guys. What a banging card. 93 finishing. Oh, my days. Well, 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 it is time to build the final team for this 24-hour Road to Glory in FC24. Let's see what you can do in the new Ultimate Team. In goal for this squad, I'm going to go for a goalkeeper here who I think is great in game. And you can't go wrong with him, really. Premier League links, Brazilian. Edison is going to be my starting goalkeeper. However, at the right back position, joining him in the heart of defense, well, the side part of defense, I'm going to use this kind of objective card. I think she is objective. It is quicker there. 85 pace, 80 dribbling, and overall a really solid right back addition to this squad. As always with these RTGs, it's very difficult to get the exact, you know, perfect chemistry. So I'm kind of going here for the most interesting and best player Best team, sorry, on paper. So let's see how we do. Right centre-back for the team is actually going to be Carter. Links well to the rest of the squad. 
84 rated card there for her as well. Believe she was an objective, which I did unlock, I think, was it a few hours ago? Anyway, left centre back for the team. I'm going to go with the one and only Centurion, and there's maybe more than one Centurion actually. It's Belgian Centurion Bornal there from Wolfsburg. I will get him into the team here, and he should be a great addition to this defence. And every single card other than Edison is a special one. On the 12 hour RTG, I did not have anywhere near this special cards. It's kind of unbelievable. Left back though, there's only one choice, isn't there? There was nearly two choices. However, Acuna being 100,000 coins, I have to go with him there, guys. I love having that kind of card and caliber of card on my account here. Left mid for this new team, we are gonna go with Kaiser there. Get the link there to my right back and she's got a really nice card in game. 85 rating, guys. Four star week for 87 finishing, 90 reactions. That's a really good card. Only downside is skill moves. However, I like her card a lot. She goes a left mid. Remember, only one gold card so far. This is crazy what you can do in one day of Ultimate Team. Now, the next two players are actually going to be Kimmich there, who can play as centre mid. He gets linked to Bornal, the Centurion. Right centre mid, though, I'm going to go for rating here. And it's going to be Pedri, 86 rated. You just can't choose him and not choose him in this kind of team, can you, man? He had to be in this squad. Now, right mid, I've actually got rid of Saka. I thought, you know what? Let's make it more exciting. So, went with Jared Bowen there. He was an objective card, which I got very, very early on. And with only two minutes left, I've really got to hurry up here, guys. Otherwise, I might miss out. So, right striker for the team is an icon. It's going to be Henrik Larsson. Remember, we packed him maybe about halfway through this road to glory today. He was the new icon I got on this brand new account, guys. He goes into the team, though. It's cool having an icon in this one-day account. It really, really is, man. I love that. Now, to complete the 24-hour RTG Squad, it's only one man. You saw me complete his SBC. It's going to be Ollie Watkins. And there you have it, guys. One day of playing Ultimate Team, we've got a squad like this one. Very, very, very happy with that. Comment down below your thoughts to my starting 11. Do let me know. Now, where things get a bit ridiculous, in my opinion, is the bench because my club is actually insanely stacked. Have I completed a few SBCs with, you know, decent cards? Like, oh, Black, yes. That's what we want to do. We want to get these good players like Watkins. However, we've still got a really good club in general. So here you go. So we've got Hurtig there, which was, I think, an objective. Morris objective. Inketia is actually tradable. So if we did want to sell him, guys, I would probably get 20k. However, for now, he can go on the bench. Rolfo, a walkout there, 87. We've also got all of these objective cards. And yeah, I'm kind of stunned as to how many I got done. I have used a few objective cards in SBCs for the purpose of the end goal of this video to build the best team in the world in 24 hours. But there you have it, guys. There is the bench with the best players that I've got remaining in the club. I've actually got more. Oh, God, that is actually amazing. Even more ridiculous than I thought. So we can actually get rid of a few of these. Uh, I think Cetterini is actually the same rating. So he can, you know, give or take go there. Uh, Sheehan can maybe go over say there, but I mean, again, guys, we've still got extra objective cards there for Sillerson and Sheehan. So it goes to show what you guys can achieve in just playing 24 hours of Ultimate Team right now. It is kind of nuts, even though a lot of people are being a bit negative about this game right now in terms of like packs and stuff. I've proven it maybe wrong that there's actually quite a lot to do and there's quite a lot of packs to get in objectives in itself. So there is the final squad. We've got Nagby on the bench. We've got Drilch there from Netherlands. Cecherini, Samu Seis, uh, Babajide there. We've got Patry Ojeda. Burn there from England, the MLS player there right back. Vicky Lusada, Rolfo, Nketia, Morris and Hertig, and all of these cool cards as well. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. This has been myself, Matt, doing well, playing as much FC24 as possible in 24 hours, one day of my life. Hope you really enjoyed this. If we need 2,000 likes on this, I'll be really appreciative, guys. Thank you so much. 24-hour RTG has been completed. Thank you all. Have a good one.